What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 Career Mode Series video, and today it is time for the final round of the RBC Canadian Open at St. George's Golf in CC. And Ryan Gamer had a great round number one, posting a eight, eight under par, but the competitors played amazing. So the field just dominated at the top. You have Lydia Cole, four strokes ahead of Ryan Gamer at 12 under par, Brooke Henderson at 10 under, Keegan Bradley at 10, and John Rahm right there at nine. So Ryan Gamer is gonna have to have the round of his career at this golf course. Actually, that eight under is my best round on St. George's Golf on Master TGC Tour settings. So we would have to do even better than that to win because I don't see Lydia Cole, Brooke Henderson, Keegan Bradley, or John Rahm slowing down. They, they're they playing great this week when everybody seemed to struggle last week and now they're dominating. And I've, I've said this multiple times. It's happened a lot this season. The AI can be consistent, some inconsistent. Sometimes they dominate, sometimes they struggle. And although last week, it's hard to say they struggled. Ryan Gamer just dominated from start to finish in that major tournament. But it is time. I need all your all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments because we need a whole lot of birdies. So call in that birdie train all right now. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and be sure to tune in to Ryan Gamer's other sporting endeavors. Five sport athlete at the same time, soon to be six when he dives into Top Spin 2K25, a new career mode starting soon. So stay tuned for that one. Well, let's go ahead and dive on into the final round here of the RBC Canadian Open. I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and predict. Let's not predict anything. I'm not going to say we're. When I predict bad things happen, I'm just going to take a sip of coffee and be on my way. Cheers, everybody. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? Right now, Luke, this player is trailing heading into the final round. However, many things can happen. If the leader stumbles, this player's got a great opportunity to bypass, overtake, and win this tournament. You hear that? Glad to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. Glad to see Rich believes. And we are in good position. You know, we have nothing to lose right now. We know we're four strokes back. We can attack everything. If we putt like we did in round number one, we're going to dominate. Now, luckily, we have one miles per hour wins to start this tournament. Okay, we have to capitalize this. When's the last time we've ever seen that low of wind? Thank you for giving that to us, game. Let's see if we can pull it off. Let's get the nervous jitters off or out right away. And send it. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's such a good swing. Swing plane was good. Tempo was good. And what a shot. Quality shot that one. Time for the second shot into the first. This pin location is tough. I want to have... I kind of want to be short so we can have an uphill putt. I like the flop shot. It's 48 yards away. Uphill four. I like the sand wedge flop. I'm not going to do any shot shaping. The, the ball's going to fly off to the left on the side hill lie. Let's attack it. Beautiful swing plan was not great. That's fine. Left to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Good news is we do have an uphill putt. The bad news is a whole lot of break. We got an eight feet putt with probably a foot or more of break, especially at the beginning. This is tough. We were locked in in round number one. Can we stay locked in here in the final round? This one's looking good. We still can't oh, miss. That's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Let's go. He's currently tied for eighth. 
Lydia Cole, of course, has not started yet. We can put the pressure on her in the final round, though. Imagine. Is a power four. Always a stern test. I, I think at worst, Lydia Ko shoots a 10 under today. At, that's at worst. At best, she may shoot 15. Important time to point out, speaking after that birdie, earlier this week in the EA Sports PGA Tour career mode, Ryan Gamer took on East Lake, round number three of the Tour Championship. If you all missed that video, trust me, watch it. Ryan Gamer plays the best he's ever played on Eastlake in a career mode on the channel. On the back nine, a comeback for the centuries. It's hard to say a comeback, but a bounce back for the centuries. It was insane. I don't want to give anything away. All I could say, it might go down as Ryan Gamer's best round of golf of all time here on the Gamer Builder YouTube channel. It was absolutely insane. I believe it's one episode 142. Episode 142. It's insane. That's all I'm going to say. And if you did not watch it, watch it. The, it. the back nine was just on another level. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 145 yards. 145 uphill two feet. The problem is we're in between the eight iron and pitching wedge. So it's either a de-lofted shot or a partial. I like the de-lofted, actually. De-lofted combined with a little bit of backspin. Spin it up that slope or roll it up the slope. I like it a lot. The wind's not really affecting it at all, so. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Swing plan. That's look at the beginning of that swing plan. Actually, don't look. Don't look. It was perfect. A bit wild on approach there. Not far from the green here, just in the green side rough. Am I crazy? Pulling out the Texas wedge possibly here. I've never, I never made a putt from the live light rough. But this is a very makeable putt. And Ryan with the putter in his hands this week has been phenomenal. The problem is I just don't know. Oh, it's a 79-81% lie out of the, when I'm putting. So why not just add like five feet to the shot? Maybe a bit more. Maybe seven or eight. I I I want to do it. I really think we can make it. I really do. They thought leaving the flag stick in would help them. And they thought wrong. So, a tiny Rich, is all that remains. let me teach you something about this video game. You can only remove the pin when it's on the green. One of the, it's so frustrating you can't remove the pin. Because I would have 100% removed the pin there. That was the putt of the year for Ryan. And if the pin's not, if the pin's not in, it goes in. It was dead center. What a read. And in this game... You can't take out the pin unless you're on the green. You can add, of course, it's off by default, but you can turn on the pin when you're on the green. You can't take out the pin from anywhere else. That's heartbreaking. You can't hear, look. <laughs> wow. And as we move along, it's Lydia Cohen, top spot. Still a great par, but I know you all are shaking your head too. Like Let's you all wanted that to drop. At the third hole. I feel like they should have it. If you have a putter out, or if you're chipping, a putter or chipping, you should be able to remove the pin. You all agree? Okay, uh, four iron in hand. It's gonna fly about seven yards further, being downhill 20 feet. Be about 203 into a headwind. I like the club. Looks to be going with the four iron. Bounce left, bounce left, it should. That's a good shot. It, uh, I slowed it slightly. Slow was fine. It was more the swing plane that messed that shot up. Still, still not bad. Just inside the range. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Setting up this putt 19 feet from the cup. 
This is their look at birdie. Our putting has been amazing. Let's just keep doing what we're doing two weeks in a row, but especially this week. That was a gallant attempt. This is a par putt. So the rows have went our way all week. We can't really complain, right? And that was hit a little bit too fast on the high side. And it didn't drop. A little bit more to the left or a little bit softer. That putts in. Not bad, though. And the putt drops and we're moving on. Now at minus nine for the tournament. Where did Jason come from? Jason is, I believe, four under on the day. Off here at the four. All right. Just got to hit this fairway. A tough fairway to hit. Ride Gamer has been blasting baseballs for the Cincinnati Reds in the MLB The Show 24 series. If you are want to have a fun series with a lot of good laughs, watch that series. It's epic. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. And you say, you all like, what do you mean a lot of good laughs? Well, just watch Ride Gamer out in right field. A couple videos. Or watch actually episode one. Watch Ryan in the field and you'll you'll know. You'll know quickly. 149 uphill 34 feet. It's gonna play about 160 because of the elevation change. So 154 is gonna be a bit too short. But what I'm gonna do is go up a club because of the light rough. Put a little bit of backspin on it. And it should be a good club. It's an uphill lie which is gonna take off some distance too gonna push off the hill as well to the right the wind zero right now looks to have chosen the seven iron what a shot go in rough. this is gorgeous oh ho, ho. what a shot It'll be a tough putt yeah, though that was a safe play yeah th this putt's not gonna be easy Ryan gamer with the fist, fist pump, pump there to join those amongst the top 10 on the leaderboard Heavy breaking 12 foot putt. It's downhill four inches. A lot of right to left movement. One time. It's tracking. Yes, nice the camera was odd the there, one. but and what a putt. Dances his way to the top 10 after that delightful shot. That's what we've done all week, all this tournament. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Lydia with an eagle, right? She parted the first hole. Did, 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 did Lydia just hole out on hole two? I don't even remember hole two. Which hole was that? It's got to bounce right, and it should. It should bounce actually perfect. Tempo has been on recently. I feel like I've come a long way with tempo. Swing plane has come a long way too, but there's examples like that to where swing plane gets Atta out boy. of hand. Good shot. 87 yards away, uphill 10 feet. I like probably the normal lob wedge. It's going to be a bit too much, but it's uphill 10. So this 92 is going to carry about 89. I like the club. Let's take a little bit off of it with loft and spin. Go right for it. Great tempo. A, shot a little That's bit of a push, surface. but still a good shot. Look at that distance control, though. And wow, what an approach. That was a golf shot. Justin Rose may be feeling a bit of pressure in this rivalry after that performance. Thank you, Henny. Did Justin Rose... Where, where is Justin Rose? Did he make a cut? No, he, he struggled, didn't he? Some momentum being built now. That's that was to too close. Play. I did not think it was going to come back. From this distance is a huge confidence booster. Now fall back after that hole. Okay, whoever called in the birdie train, will you keep it here? And we may have to birdie out to win. Lydia Ko is dominating. Tiger Woods is dominating. Proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Like we're playing this good golf, play but from 170 to 200 plus, there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. Yeah, the bunker's nasty big time, but also this green is nasty. And I love the hybrid here. 
with a little bit of backspin. And I'm going to land it right here where my aim marker is, hopefully. Looks That's the swing. The That's the swing of the day. How did that... It was a little bit of a push on the swing plane, but barely. And it went way to the right. It just shows how... If you add some shot shaping to the shot, that forgiveness zone for swing plane gets even smaller. There's an example of that. And that's unfortunate. Now, did we have enough even if we would have hit it where we planned? Probably not. Please get off the green. <laughs> this putt would be a nightmare. Thank you. This would be a great up and down. Let's just hit this one close. I'm going to flop this one a few yards short. Very nice. And this would be a great power putt if you can make this. These greens, that's the thing about these greens. I've been so surprised with how well we've been putting because these greens are tough. You never have an easy putt. So even far, when so you're good. that close. And in it goes for the par. I need some water. Hey, drink some water, everybody. Don't drink too much coffee like me. <laughs> drink some water too. And Cheers. New Zealand's Lydia Ko who leads here as we head to the next. Look at Lydia Cole, Tiger Woods, Brooke Henderson, and Keegan Bradley all it's dominating. Time to this powerful hole. A speaking of of the LPGA Tour, you know Lydia Cole there at the top here in this game. Have you all been paying attention to Nelly Corda in real life? She is dominating. It is absolutely insane. She is incredible. Like, <laughs> it's amazing what she's been doing this season. And if you all have not paid attention to these last, I mean, this last few months, watch, watch Lydia Ko's highlights for like the past six LPGA tournaments. It's insane. <laughs> she's on another level. And it's been so awesome to watch. Wow. Nelly Corda is on fire. Let's hit this close. Got to do a partial 8-iron. Tough shot to hit. But we can hit tough shots. It's going to come off to the right. Going with the 8-iron here. Just needs this one to kick right. Well, we can hit tough shots. That was not one of them. Well, that'll work. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Spot the top five on the line here. Now we've hit a lot of putts, and yeah, it Luke just said if we make this, we go into the top five, but this is gonna be a tough one. We've hit tough putts this whole tournament, but this is a different level of tough. Actually, remember that remember that long fifty foot putt we made? That was a different level of toughness. In round one, if y'all miss round one, watch it. A putt of Ryan Gamer's career, and that was not it. That's just such a tough putt. Because you have to play it so far out to the left. And as you play it further out to the left, as it gains speed down that slope, it's just going to go. And this is going to be off the green. Welcome to St. George's Golf and Country Club, everybody. <laughs> nah, that's a punish. Nothing worse than putting it off the green. And here we are with their four. Well, four shots behind our leader. I think we put this. I I wish you could remove the pin, but you can't. Not going to break much. This one's for bogey. But we've been locked in. It's going to be a, a disappointing bogey, though. Very disappointing bogey. Good putt, that. Missed the shot. Missed the approach shot. That was the big thing. Per self in a very difficult position. And just hard to get that birdie putt close. Currently at 10 under par overall. Lydia Cole is now 16 under. She's 4 under through 5 holes. Keegan Bradley is as well. We've reached the 8th hole. 
bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. 197, downhill 25 feet. Uh, this is going to fly about 205. I like it. A little bit of loft to backspin. Just got to make sure we hit the tempo, right? Oh, we hit the tempo. This one's left of the green. Swing plane was not great, but it still worked out. What a bounce. This might roll down, right? Oh, what a lovely shot. Close. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. Maybe if I wouldn't have said anything, it, it might have rolled all the way down. Hey, what you all, great opportunity you all here know. For a look at a birdie. You all know in, in golf, in real life, in this game, whenever you want something to keep rolling, it stops. Whenever you want something to stop, it keeps going. 17 feet, downhill one foot. Left to right, probably a, a foot, maybe a little bit more. Be quick, too. This putt's going to be real quick. Okay, steady I felt like we tapped that putt. Just look at this. Wow, these pin locations are tough. I feel like we tapped and that we putt. The third shot. I mean, I'm going to putt it. We'll Texas wedge here from the fairway. When have you all ever seen me so confident it, with the putter that we're putting everything from off the green? That was a swing play. Don't putting look at the bottom right. <laughs> Trust me, uh, nothing to see there. Don't rewind it if you missed. And let's just take our bogey and, and down it goes the other way. Consecutive bogeys. You're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Oh, do you remember when I said to keep the birdie train here? Whoever called it in, clearly. Now eight shots. Whatever back. you, tr Not whatever to you hole. told to the birdie train conductor, clearly, they changed it to a bogey. We've arrived at a par five. This course is so tough, even with low winds. These greens can crush you. You all remember round one? I did not miss a putt. And well, we're missing putts today, and you miss putts on this course even by a little bit. It's usually a big miss. Four. Oh, way too short for four. They're they're fine. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? This is perfect. They can make great contact. You couldn't ask oh, for a we, better sand. We can't lie get here. over the sand though. We have to just kind of lay this one back to the fairway. Yeah, I knew that was going to be that close. Put some good distance on that one. Miscalculated something there. Big time. 87 yards, uphill nine. A gap wedge pitch in hand, and I actually like this a lot. And I'm going to go right at it. This That's one beautiful. Is right down the pipe. Yes. A oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the night. We made this hole a lot tougher than it should be. It's it's a very scoreable golf hole. We're gonna score on it, but wow, we made it tough. What a pitch shot. Let's go. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Hey, two under. That's fine. We we'll just forget about those two bogeys. At least we erased one of them. Not our best front so nine. As we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. They are playing insane this week. What happened to the field? They're playing like they did earlier in the season when Lydia Cole won by like 15 strokes. I don't remember which tournament that was, but like... You just never know. And I like the variety, right? But wow, they're unstoppable this week. Because we're in 18th place right now. We're, we're two under on the day. Dominating. 
a 105 blast. Stay in the fairway, please. It should, right? And it does. Let's go. No harm, no foul there with that shot. I'm gonna flop Time this. The second shot at the tenth. I'm gonna flop this. Land it uh, about 30 to 31 yards. Let it roll to the right slightly. Way too short. Underswung by a mile. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. The way we putt this week, though, we can make this. Has it, the putter hasn't been as hot today, but 13-footer, uphill four. Left to right the entire way. Quite a bit of break. Crushed it. Right by the hole. Wow, the speeds. Are they... Have the speeds changed here for this final round? The greens feel much faster. Yeah, this is looking nice. Well done. Or maybe I'm just overpowering everything. Have to score on the par 5 11. Have to. Call the birdie train in right now. Let's birdie out. It's possible. Now, Not likely, but... Lead. I'm just trying to get into the top five. Jason is right there, 14 under. He still has plenty of golf left. Off now they are dominating the this. In this hole, we could call what? Serpentine, maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. However, don't get bit and leave it short Beautiful. right in that bunker off the tee because you will be rattled. Most scorable hole on the course, I think, when you hit the fairway. I mean, we, can, we might be able to eagle this. Yeah, that one will play. From around 180 yards out. Anybody want to call in the eagle train? What are we feeling about landing this short with the seven iron and bouncing it up? Going with the seven. Get Nothing lucky. good out to the Get right. Lucky. This is a trouble. I tried to do that. That's when you just waved to the fans. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Wave to the fans and, uh, and here we are with the third make shot. the putt. <laughs> nine. How many feet is this? It's nine yards uphill one foot, about a 28 foot putt. Uphill one foot. We. I still think we can make this. Maybe my. Maybe I have too much confidence on the greens this week. Get your one times ready and call in that eagle train. Call in that eagle train, you two. Come on. Call in that train, everybody. One time. Didn't hit it hard enough. I think the line could have been fine with the right to distance. To move inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. That's a big birdie, though. He finds himself at a share of 14th position. Lydia is unstoppable. What is she, seven under through the first nine holes here in the final round? All right, Lydia, well, settle down. Hole. <laughs> 104, basically perfect tempo, basically perfect swing plane. That's the drive of the day. And what a, what a hop on that one. Okay, 69 yards, uphill 17 feet. I'm going to go lob wedge pitch. It's, it's, the uphill is going to be different, but I'm going to go to overpower this, slight forward spin on it. Attack it. This slow just killed the ball. That's too big of a slow. It's coming back. That's heartbreaking. Oh, Pretty it stopped. Good shot there. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. 26 feet. Uphill one foot. Left to right. Not much break at all. <sighs> That's frustrating. That's disappointing. Night and day difference the between the putter in a round one versus here round two, the final round. Right? It's it's a world of difference. 
These pin locations are just as tough, honestly, if not a bit tougher. But those pins round number one, we were making insane putts. I knew we probably couldn't do that in both rounds, but we would like to. Three under on the day, putting us 16th place. I, the AI is absolutely dominating this week. I'm going to do a partial four eye. Actually, what I'm going to do is, is fade this with a little bit of backspin right to the hole. Going with the four iron here. Enough fade? No, not enough fade. Swing plane didn't help us much, and I slowed it. Well struck. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Well, Henny, we're going to make it. We've made them this week. It's going to break a whole bunch. The problem is you just don't want to send this down the front of the green, right? I have to be a little careful. Get in. Get in. Golf is a painful sport, right? Drop. What a read. An opportunity to make their par. We hit that one percentage harder. That's in the hole. That's a an incredible read, though. We can't really be too upset about that one. Goes. Let's head to the next. Wow. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Is Lydia 10 under through 11? Like, this hole here she's is done this twice this season to where she's unstoppable. He struggled there for a, a, like a few tournaments after that. Not anymore. What in the world? <laughs> what a swing. But yeah, I, I don't know how you can't beat that. We weren't going to get, we're not going to get 28 under this tournament. Uh, great shot. This shot is about 140 yards out. This is not usually what happens. It happens a couple times a season, but this is kind of bizarre. I'm going to go 8 iron partial. No, last time we hit the 8 iron partial bad. I'm doing a de-lofted, overpowered pitching wedge. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Drop right, it to perfection. Going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. It's, it's nice when you call your right shot and actually hit it, right? Well, certainly got the swing in the groove. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This Birdie. player is relentless. We're still fighting, well, like. That one? I want to be in the top five. I know it's going to be almost impossible to get there, but well, it's not impossible. Anything north well, of the leaderboard's always pleasant. It might be. We're tied for 11. Let's try to get into the top 10. Looking at a par 5 here. Gotta get... We honestly need an eagle here. That's not a good start. Get lucky. Get lucky. All the way down. All the way down. Well, this is not a good outcome. That's not what I meant. The deep stuff. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, it, it's frustrating, sure it but the short grass. that's more frustrating. And I thought What's he facing with this one. You're gonna need one or two clubs more because this green I don't know. is sitting up. <laughs> what do I know right now? Clearly, not much on this par five. 106 yards, uphill 29 feet, a 68 to 76 percent lie. What? Uphill lie as well. Tough distance to judge right here. I'm gonna come off well to the right. A the really tough shot. Here. Wow, did this come out beautifully? That's pretty good. That's pretty good from there. Playing within their comfort zone there. Now this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. This is how the this course usually plays back for me. Back There's actually no comparison between round the round one pin locations and the final round. These are on another level of difficulty. You know, those those were tough. Don't get me wrong. You go back and watch them if you all remember. We made some insane putts. But these pin locations, especially on the back, they've all been on huge slopes. And that's how I remember this course. This course is always what I struggled at. And that's why. Let's make it. 
But if we miss this, you know where it's going. Swing plan. <laughs> Great swing plan on that one. Honestly, it, it may stop the ball, that swing oh, that's plan. That's good. Mm, good chance this one. Right on six feet. And again, we're six feet, but look at that break. Putt is underway. Yes, crush that and one. Down it goes. Now 12 under par with just a handful to play. Let's get three birdies. Three holes left, par three and two par fours. Let's finish strong. Tough holes now, to birdie, is but by four shots now. we can do it. Yeah, it's nobody was taken down Lydia Ko this tournament. And look at Brooke Henderson, Keegan Bradley, Jason up there. Tiger Woods played great too. Three. This is the most difficult par three on the golf course by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green Going right just for it. to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. That's just mean. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one's going right at the pin here. That's pretty good. What a shot. Struck that tempo to perfection. Come back. Come back. That should set up another chance. 14 feet to the cup. It never comes back, does it? 14 feet, downhill 6 inches. Just a little bit of break here. But again, got to tap this ball. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, so close. Big putt for Pai coming up. Golf's a painful sport, YouTube. That's a really good read. Perfect speed, though. Hit any harder, it's going to carry down that, that slope that we're on. Currently 12 under for the event. The difference between round one and here in the final round. We were making everything in round one. We're barely missing in round two. It happens. Time That's golf. On your shot here at this long we're four. not playing bad. Ryan's average on this golf course is not good. Probably even par, I think, on this course over his career of playing this. So, not bad. 200 par rounds, but I'm going to birdie out. Got to get around this tree. I think we should be fine. That's tidy. Yep, we're fine. Playing this one, about 130 yards. I'm doing yards normal out. pitch, full swing. It's a perfect club. Right to left side hill lie. I'm going to come off to the left slightly. The wind's going to blow it left a little bit. I, I felt like that pull. The pitching wedge. Tempo was great. I just felt that pull at the end. Not bad. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Okay, 11 feet. Here. One Short we've got to make. Absolutely fantastic today. Looking back. Yes. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies. Thank you go. all for the one times. I know you all dropped a one time. Some of you out there, it's probably all of you. Place. We're trying to get to 10th place. I don't know if we can get there. John Rahm is there in third at 18. We're in 11th place at 13 under. That's insane. Two great shots here because this hole is a long par four. One of the toughest holes the on the course for me. That swing was awesome. Hey, thank you, Rich. You don't want to make us feel good. Call in that birdie train, everybody, or keep the birdie train here. Now he's eyeing up around 160 here. 159, uphill 20. This 166 seven iron is going to carry about seven yards short. I'm going to do it seven iron, and we can spin it off that back slope. Uphill lie, which is going to take off some distance as well. One time. Get lucky. It's going to roll down, but this could roll all the way down. Yes. That was wonderfully done. We did get lucky. Shooting today. This putt is for a final score of 64. I wonder if this would move us into the top 10. 20, 28 feet, uphill one inch. This is breaking heavy left to right. And if we miss it and crush it, we're off the green. That's going to be interesting. I 
Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> well, yeah, I got one. Make the putt, right? Oh, just missed. Guess Ryan had different plans on that one. <laughs> oh, this must be frustrating. Time to get back on that green. Playing their fourth shot. Well, I saw that going a bit differently. Differently, I hit that by about five percent too hard. So that that's not great. And let's just send this in. Welcome to St. George's Golf and CC, Ryan Gamer. Ryan almost chucked that putter right into the grandstands. <laughs> Ryan almost threw that putter, I'm telling you right now. One time for the bogey. Yes. That's huge. Oh, I'd like to have one but look at that shot. It's a bogey. See this again. Have this one on repeat. Let's not run that back, Henny. No. <laughs> we don't want to relive this, Henny. Come on. There you go. There's that bogey, everybody. Everybody wanted to see that one again. I mean, that's frustrating. And Henny, I thought this player was being a little cocky when they took on this rival. But not only did they take them on, they beat them down. This was an old-fashioned smackdown. Luke, I'm not often wrong about, well, anything. But apparently I was today. I need to go and lick my wounds. Well, there you hear it. Ryan Gamer did crush the rival. But... We lost. Lydia Ko dominated. She scored back to back 12 unders at that insanely difficult course. 24 under wins by four strokes over Brooke Henderson. Lydia Ko's like fifth tournament win of the season, maybe number four. Keegan Bradley there in third, Tommy Fleetwood, Jason, John Rom there, Tiger Woods, John Hom, Maverick McNilly. But we got 11th. We were so close to going into the top 10. Without that bogey, we honestly might have got it. That's a frustrating bogey. We tried our best though, and at the end of the day, we fell short, right? And that's gonna happen. Round number one is a round we'll never forget. The best putting that I've ever done in this game. And then round number two, didn't putt terrible, but we didn't putt great. So <laughs> let's just say it like it is. That was not Ryan Gamer's best display of putting. We crushed Justin Rose though. 51 points to four in stable forward format. Or 29 to 4 in Staberford. Match play, we won by 22. <laughs> that's not bad. That's quite a. That's a pretty good golf round, a pretty big margin there. But let's take a look at the event stats here. Final round fairway 76, greens 88. While round one was 76 greens and 66. We hit more greens and the same amount of fairways, but the problem was look at this. Our proximity hole was 23 in round one. It was 17 in round two. We we were more. We had better approaches. We had more greens. But our one putt percentage was much worse, 50%. But round one it was a one putt percentage I will never have again, 83%. That just shows the how hot the putter was that round number one. And looking back at round number one, look at these putting stats. 180 and 70 with short, medium, long. And the big one was a 91% birdies. 11 for 12, I believe that would be. And then look at round number two, the final round here. We had great short and medium. The difference was long. We were not making those long putts. The putts over 10 feet, we were dropping them in a round one like it was nothing. And we were not converting on birdies. That's one of Ryan Gamer's lowest birdie conversions ever. We went 
from a birdie of 91% birdie conversion rate to 43 shows how much more difficult those pin locations were there was no comparison especially you get past hole six wow it takes a turn and every green is on like a big slope no matter where you are and if you miss you're rolling all the way down such a tough round of golf for the event total though 100 percent short 85 medium 45 percent long most of that in round one birdie conversion of 64 it could have been much higher that's still amazing out of 28 greens hit we had 64 birdies 64 not 64 birdies 64 percent yeah if we had 64 birdies i can tell you we would have won that one 18 birdies on the tourney 13 pars four bogeys one double too many mistakes so i mean without those six over worth of mistakes the double and then the bogeys we would have been in the top five so that's unfortunate need to eliminate those mistakes but honestly at at st george's golf and cc you're gonna make mistakes those greens are insanely tough and we did our best and at the end of the day that's all you can do and we will keep fighting we are coming off a win in the last major and we are heading in to the next major tournament here at pinehurst that's right the northwest open the u.s open here coming up in the next video it's going to be a four round tournament it will not be two rounds so we we won the golf club championship in dominating fashion there at tpc boston but i'm kind of nervous because with how the ai played this week if they do that same thing well we're gonna have to shoot 12 under a round to win i need all you all's one times all the hype and positive encouraging comments because wow we're gonna need them for these these next four rounds of golf and if they play like they did this week it's gonna be tough to make a cut because if you all have not played pinehurst number two wow it is insanely difficult so this is gonna be insane thank you all for watching this video to the end if you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And there is plenty of other PGA 2K23 content and other gaming content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. The home of Ryan Gamer, the multi-sport athlete. The same athlete you see here today is a five-sport athlete right now, soon to be six sports, and has played plenty of other sports in the past. I had many of those career modes linked in a playlist down in the video description below. Tune into the other series. They are so much fun. And make sure you watch the EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Episode 142. Their round number three of East Lake was a round we'll never forget, especially that back nine. I will see you all in the US Open at Pinehurst number two. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.